Hi everyone, Melissa here with Fresh Blooming Clothing and today is Sunday and I have a lot of labels to print. So I wrapped everything already just because that took about an hour and a half, two hours. I laid back down in between and I thought I would print with you guys along. Um, some of you mentioned that you liked my explaining how to ship and just the shipping process. So I figured we would do that again. So I'm on my eBay page and I have 21 items that sold this weekend. And then I have to ship a giveaway winner. On my Instagram we had a giveaway and a few orders that came in off of eBay. Now selling items off of eBay is considered eBay illegal. But these people had contacted me from my YouTube video and had asked to purchase things before they even went on eBay. So I thought that would be okay and I billed them through PayPal. So what I've done is I've just put like bunny pillow on the back of my package so I can tell what's inside. And I figured we'd print some shipping labels. And I'm really sorry my cheeks are so red. I've been coughing up a storm here. Just not felt well today. Okay, so the bunny, and I'll insert photos, that's perfect. The bunny is uh, a bin find, and I'm guessing I paid about a quarter, maybe 50 cents. He was a small little plush bunny, and I sold him within a few days for $20. Plus shipping, and he weighs six ounces in this package, 5.5 .5 ounces. So I round up to six and I'm printing my shipping label. Daniel purchased through the global shipping program and I'm part of the global shipping program for countries I don't ship to. Um, countries like China, for instance, or Russia, or a few other countries that I can't insure through. I just ship through the global shipping program, so I have to get it to Kentucky. But then I also sell internationally to countries like uh, Canada and the UK and more stable countries that have insurance. So the bunny's going international, but all I have to do is get him to Kentucky. So he's going first class mail, and you can use a poly mailer for first class mail. And this is anything under 16 ounces. It's just a cheaper way of shipping. So six ounces to Daniel, and I just have to get a Kentucky. And he paid $4.45, and the cost for me with my discount, I get a discount through my top rated seller, and I pay $2.92. So we're going to go ahead and print that. So there's two different programs, there's a lot of programs through eBay, but uh, two top rated statuses. One is top rated and the other is top rated plus. I don't qualify for top rated plus because I don't take uh, returns and I don't offer same day handling. I think those are the two constituents you have to do. I know you have to take returns. And I tried taking returns, I didn't like it. So I stopped taking returns, I still sell. I couldn't really tell you a difference. And I print through my Dymo label maker, it's called a Dymo 450 Turbo, and it prints great with eBay. Okay, so Daniel, I hope you like your little bunny pillow. Next, we're gonna print another first class mail. And again, anything under 16 ounces. And this is a J. Crew skirt. And it weighs 9.1 ounces, so I round up to 10. And the skirt went for about $19. It went for $18.88. And I've had this skirt for a good bit. And this is also going to the Global Shipping Program. So I don't know who M is, but all I have to do is to get this to Kentucky. So they paid $3 for shipping. And 10 ounces to Kentucky with my discount. 
is $3.50. Now I wanted to explain a little bit more about the discount. You get a uh, kind of like a commercial bulk discount for being a top rated seller. So if you're just starting on eBay, you might not get the shipping discount. And I'll give you a couple of instances and examples of, I should move you, I'm sorry, we're gonna move. Okay, that way I'm not clonking you every time I print. Okay, so hope you love the skirt. Let's get another first class. This was a top that was my own. I found it at the bins. It was just a big cotton tunic -y top and I wore it a bunch and it started to get faded and a little linty. So I used my fabric shaver and I got rid of a little bit of the pills, but I just closed all of that and it still sold. I threw it on auction for I think 99 cents and it went for $10 and 50 cents. And Wendy purchased it. And she's in Virginia, so this is 7.3 ounces, which rounds up to eight. So first class mail for eight ounces would normally cost somebody without the eBay discount. It says the eBay discount, that's what they call it. It would cost somebody $3.75. But because I'm top rated, and there's a few things you have to do with top rated to hit that top rated, and I can link those below. It costs me $3.18. So I charged Wendy $5.50. Sometimes I just make up prices as I go. So I'm gonna purchase this for $3.18. Now I did make about $2 on shipping, which honestly I don't feel bad about. Wendy knew going into it that she was paying a little bit more for shipping. And I'll lose a couple dollars here, gain a couple dollars there, I break even. Okay, so while my label maker, sometimes it hesitates a little bit, is working on Wendy's, we'll do another one. I'm going to do the Maeve skirt. This was an anthropology skirt I found maybe like two weeks ago. And it sold for $27.77. And this is going to Robin in Hawaii. Okay, so this is also 7.3 ounces. So both of these got rounded up to eight ounces. So I'll be curious to see if Hawaii ships differently. Nope, $3.18 with my discount. So we're gonna go ahead and purchase that one. Okay, so this one is printing Wendy's, which was the first package. Where am I throwing these? Ha. And this one is Robin. So it's really helpful to get that top rated seller because then you do have that little bit of a discount on shipping labels. And it's up to you if you pass that along to your buyer. I used to make shipping free. I went through that phase. I tried that, didn't love it. So then I went to this and I liked it. You can charge somebody a flat fee. You can calculate it. There's a lot of different options with eBay when it comes to shipping. Next are some Ralph Lauren buttons. Ralph Lauren, Ralph Lauren buttons. And these weigh 2.4 ounces. They're virtually weightless. They're so tiny. And these sold for $15. I had so many watchers on these. And I wrapped them each, uh, almost each individual button in a little piece of tissue paper so the buttons don't scrape on themselves. So three ounces going to Sylvia in Florida. She's in state. So I charged her $3.15 and with my eBay discount, it's $2.66. So we'll go ahead and purchase that. These eBay buttons uh, were purchased on a blazer that was trashed, a Ralph Lauren blazer, maybe a week, week and a half ago. And I paid $5 for the blazer, knowing full well that I would just cut them off for the buttons and get about 15, 20 bucks. I could have gotten a little bit more, but I was glad to see them go quickly. 
And while we wait for the Dymo, we will move on to the next one. This is a Lululemon older pair of reversible groove crops. And these are going to these are going to Marina, who's also in Florida. So they are nine ounces, just under nine ounces, first class now. I charged Marina five dollars. <laughs> My label maker is a little sluggish today. Okay, so this was Sylvia for the Ralph Lauren buttons. Lauren, Ralph Lauren. Okay. So back to Marina, the Lululemon crop sold for $10.50 plus shipping. The shipping she paid was $5. The shipping without my discount would have been $4.10 and the discount saved me about 75 cents. So my shipping is $3.34. So I'm going to go ahead and print that. And there's always an option when you print shipping labels to show the customer the price you paid or not show the customer the price you paid. And I do not show the customer the price I paid unless I save the customer some money. If they paid $5 for shipping and I had to pay $6, I might show it then just to show them they got a really good deal. But other than that, there's no reason. Okay, a few more first class mail. Again, first class mail is just always in a poly. You can't get any bags from the post office that um, are free. So you have to pay for your own shipping bags when you go first class mail. I usually get them for a few cents a piece, so it's not a big deal. Okay, this was a bikini that sold. It was a Kenneth Cole bikini. Second one this week in the same style. I purchased it at TJ Maxx forever ago on yellow clearance and this might have been over a year ago I got it for four dollars so I think this might have been the last bikini I did that with I purchased maybe 20 or 30 swimsuits at that time so it sold for $9.99 plus shipping they paid four dollars for shipping and this is going to Monica in Connecticut. And it's 7.8, so I'll round up to eight ounces. She paid $4 without the discount, would be $3.75. And with my eBay discount, I pay $3.18. So having that top rated seller is, is just ideal if you can get to that point. I sell some items that I don't print shipping labels for, so there's no tracking number uploaded. They're just little name signs, and eBay likes to see the tracking number. So you have to keep your total tracking number percentage at 95%. So if you sell 100 items in a month, let's just say for a round number, they want to see tracking numbers uploaded through their system on 95% of those. So I really am careful with how many of those signs I sell. If I get close to that 95%, I'll take the signs off. And then the following month or the following quarter, I'll put them back on. Okay, so these are, this is going to Monica. I have a few more first class mail. This is another anthropology item. It's a Vanessa Virginia top. And it's got tigers on it, which was fun. And I've had this for maybe a month or so. This is 6.3 ounces, so I'll round up to seven. This is going to Colleen in Illinois. She paid $3.50. Without the discount, it would have charged me $3.75. With the discount, it was $3.05. So I made about 45 cents there. Again, I wrap my items with ribbon and every item today just had tissue paper. I had a lot of fun tissue paper to get rid of 
and ribbons and sometimes a thank you card, a handwritten thank you card and sometimes just my business card. Okay. Next item, I'm not sure if this is gonna be able to ship first class or priority. So I might have left it out usually, but I put it in a bigger bag, we'll see. It's a miracle suit swimsuit. Oh, I'm fine, it's 12 ounces. So I paid, I think $6 for this. So it was in the boutique item, the boutique aisle. And they paid $36 plus shipping, $4.50 for shipping, and 12 ounces to Illinois for Pamela with two L's. I also have two L's, Pamela, is $3.82. Dymo. <laughs> Now this is a good idea of how much you save. As you get higher, you save more. The postage goes up, you save more sometimes. So without my top rated status and the eBay discount, I would have paid $5.15. So her paying $4.50, I would have actually been losing a little bit of money if I charged her $4.50. But with my eBay discount, I saved a whole dollar thirty-three cents. So I'm only paying three dollars and eighty-two cents. But if she brought this into her post office and said send this to Florida, she would actually pay five dollars and fifteen cents. So she probably wouldn't realize I'm getting the discount. So even if I charged her four fifty, it's still a good deal. And again, you can really charge whatever for shipping. You can charge a straight $10 across the board. And as long as your things are selling, people really don't uh, consider shipping a price gouge as much as they used to. So it's really considered, I mean, maybe some, if you charged $10 and it was $2 shipping, I'm sure somebody's not gonna be thrilled. But it's the overall cost when people consider the costs. I hope that made sense. Okay, I think I'm about done with first class mail, so I'm going to move to priority. Now, priority has a lot of different options. If you just saw all of my first class mail from one ounce, if I had anything that light, as long as it's a quarter inch thick, so an envelope, like a number 10 size envelope, is usually one ounce, but you can't really ship it first class mail unless it's over a quarter inch thick. So with those buttons, that's why I padded them to really get that depth of the package because if it's a flat thing, they won't take it and I couldn't tell you why. So first class mail, one ounce through 15.9 ounces first class mail. Usually the cost with the discount is between like 250 and 4, 450. Now once we bump, bump up to priority mail, there's a lot of different options. The first option is something called flat rate envelope. Now this isn't like a legal envelope, like a hard cardboard, because you could use that in well, as well, and sometimes I do, and that saves me a little bit of money. But this is great for like bigger, thicker things. This is an actual blazer. And so it's a Banana Republic blazer. I paid, I think maybe $5, don't quote me on that. But they paid $27.77. And because it's flat rate, I don't have to wait. So it doesn't matter if you don't have a scale just send all of your items flat rate. So this is, I have to find the option on the list, the drop down list. It's called padded flat rate envelope. And it's $6.90 for people that have the top rated, rated seller discount. If you didn't have that discount, it's not much more, it's $7.25. So this person paid $8, I got it for $6.90. And this is going to Anne in Illinois. I had a few Illinois, I 
think, today. Okay. This is what my label looks like. It's seven inches by two and a quarter inches. And if you type these labels into eBay, if you also get a Dymo Label Writer 450 Turbo and you want this exact size, this label is called 99019. And you can just do an eBay search. I use the brand House Labels. They're Dymo compatible. I've never had an issue with them. They feed smoothly. I've never had any kind of issues. And they're a lot cheaper than the Dymo branded ones. Next is a creepy doll. I found this at the bins. I couldn't even tell you what they charged me. Probably 50 cents, maybe a dollar. And so I put that in a regular box. This isn't a flat rate box. This is called like a shoe box size and they call it mailing box. And then on the bottom, <laughs> There we go. It says shoe box. So these are great for shoes, obviously, but the doll fit in here perfectly with padding. So because it's not flat rate, I do have to weigh it. And this is going to go between one and two pounds. With the ounces, anything under the, the 16 ounces, you have to do per ounce. But once you get up past a pound and are going priority, it kind of skips. So anything from 1.1 pound to 1.9 pound you wouldn't say it like that one pound one ounce anything from one pound one ounce to one pound 15 ounce and anything in between ships at the two pound rate so it could just be slightly over that one pound mark and it jumps up to the two pound rate so she paid twelve dollars and fifty cents for this creepy doll and no it's not going to bunny unfortunately it is going to Kathy in Georgia, and she paid $10.15. And let's see what the two pound rate is for Georgia. Now, because I'm in Florida and it's going to Georgia, that's just above Florida. It's only one state basically over. So this is going to charge me with the discount $7.18. So I made some money in this. I made almost $3, but there's a lot of padding and I wrapped the doll up nicely and put a thank you card in. So I couldn't imagine she'd be too upset. And again, if she takes this into the post office to double check, which nobody has time for, to double check, check the shipping, she's not gonna see the price with the discount. Okay, next package. We're getting there. Next, I have a hand-knit mohair sweater. I left this out of a package completely because I didn't know if this was going to fit in a padded bag. I don't think it is. Or go in a regional A box, or go in a flat rate, or go in a non-flat rate. So this is going to Amy in Idaho, Idaho, <laughs> ID, Idaho, and she paid $12.90 for shipping. And this is between one and two pounds, so it's going to ship at the two pound rate. My Dymo tonight is a little hesitant. Okay, so there's the doll. So back to Amy's sweater. This is a mohair sweater. It's hand knit mohair. So it's a very plush fuzzy sweater. And I really don't want to fit it into a flat rate. I'm sure you can't see. Here's what a pretty stuffed flat rate looks like. So you can see this is a good bit fluffier, <laughs> bigger. So Amy has a hand knit sweater. It can't fit in the flat rate padded without me really crushing the sweater. And I don't want to do that to Amy. So I have two options. I mean, I have a lot of options, but in my mind, there are two options. Priority mail in a poly mailer or priority mail in a regional A box. The regional A box is going to be $10 and 80 cents. Just a regular poly mailer priority mail is going to be $10 and 48 cents. 
So I'm gonna take the $10.48, and that's with my discount. If she brought it to her post office to check the rate, she would see that the postage cost without the discount is $12.90, which is what she was charged. I have to get a poly mailer. I use a couple size poly mailers. Probably the most you see here, the most used one, is a 10 by 13. I have this one folded over. Let's see. Here. This one's not folded over very much. And then the next size I use is a 12 by 15. So this one's a little bit wider and a little bit longer. So we'll see if the sweater fits in this poly mailer. If not, I've got bigger than this. Yep. Slips right in there. And just because it doesn't have priority branding doesn't mean it's not shipping priority. You can see the label clearly says priority on it and it has a P in the corner. Anytime there's a P in the corner, that means priority. The other option is parcel post. And honestly, to send something parcel post is usually more expensive and a lot slower. Let's see what's up next. Okay, what's up next is a lot of 44 punches. They're scrapbooking punches that create different shapes when you punch down on them. And I got these for $20. I don't even remember where I got them, but they were $20. And I took a best offer of $60 and they paid $18.90 for shipping. And the reason they paid $18.90 is because the punches were big. So they fit in a large flat rate mailer, and I knew that going into it because I would stored them in it. So a large flat rate box at the post office without the discount is $18.90, which is what she paid. Because of my eBay discount, I pay $17.10. And the box looks like this. I don't want to lift it up because it is heavy. It's probably 20 to 30 pounds, I would say. And the large flat rate box is anything up to 70 pounds. So I see it on the floor. We're going to leave it on the floor. My husband will put it outside for the mailman tomorrow or tonight. Okay, so this is going to Sandy in Texas. Sandy, I hope you love your punches. Next is an item that somebody bought through YouTube. So what happens, since I don't have this in my eBay at all, I didn't even list it in my eBay, is I pick, uh, I asked them to pay through PayPal invoicing. I went into PayPal and created an invoice for the cost of the items and she paid it. So now I have to go into PayPal to print the shipping label. So PayPal prints in a different format than eBay does. So I'm going to have to print on my regular printer. So I'm gonna pause this put some special paper in the printer and I'll be right back. And we're back. So in my regular laser printer and in an inkjet, any kind of printer, you can use labels that look like this. It's basically a full sheet of paper that has two labels on it. And I've gotten these through Amazon. I think you get about a hundred for $9. So this is a good option if you don't have a label maker and you don't want to tape every side of your piece of paper. So I have one of these loaded in here. This is going to Rochester, New York. And my husband and I worked there for a bit uh, managing retirement community. So we bonded over that. So I charged her a flat rate for everything, including shipping, which I'm not going to say. But this package weighs just under four pounds. So 
Four pounds, regular priority mail, not a regional A, not a flat rate box, just regular priority mail, comes out to $14.18 is what I'm gonna is spend. So I'm gonna go ahead and pay through PayPal. You can print your shipping label if you've invoiced somebody. And I have paid and it's going to print. Now the window will pop up just like you're printing anything. You change your printer and my printer should be going. There we go. So this is what the label looks like when it prints through PayPal. And if you print eBay labels on your laser printer or inkjet printer, they probably usually look like this. It might print with a receipt and you can actually get that receipt off. If you don't wanna print the receipt, go to my Instagram and I can tag you if you can't find it. I have a post on how to do that. So it says my address up here, which I use a PO box. It says her address. Again, there's a P for priority. So you just want to peel off the label. Again, if you buy the sticky paper, awesome. So much better than taping every label. Stick that on the package and we're good to go. I have a few more packages and we'll see how we make it with my battery. Oh, and I just sold something, so another one. <laughs> Next up is a lot of Barbies. And this is one of the items I did not do too well on. In fact, I probably broke even. I thought the Barbies were older than they were. They were 1990s and I haven't put them in a bag yet, but she paid for a medium flat rate box. So I'm gonna weigh them, make sure they're okay to go in a medium flat rate box, and they are going to, such a pretty name, L-E-J-I-A. Legia, maybe? I've never seen that name, beautiful name, in Kansas. So here are the Barbies. I wrapped them all in tissue paper and put a little raffia bow around each one of them. It's gonna be loud for a little bit. Okay, so the Barbies are gonna have to ship at the three pound rate. So let's see how we do. She paid $13.65. And a three pound rate, if I ship it without a box in a poly mailer with some bubble wrap, would be $11.80. So that would probably be better than a medium flat rate box, which is going to cost $12.45. Again, she paid for a medium flat rate box, but I'm gonna assume as long as I have it in a box that she'll be okay if I went at the four pound rate, because this might need to go to four pound rate after I get it all wrapped, it's gonna cost $13.75. So if it goes under that three pound mark, we're good, it's cheaper. If it hits that 3.1 mark, I'm gonna have to ship it a medium box. So I'm gonna pause the camera, do all of that sorting, figure out what's cheaper and better for the Barbies. <laughs> and then I'll be back. And I'm back. So for everybody curious, the Barbie dolls had to ship at a four pound rate, which charged me 10 cents more than she paid, but I'm fine with that. So now I am looking at a few more purchases. The first is a big feather hat. You might remember it from me thrifting. I loved that silly peacock hat. Somebody finally bought it. I paid about 50 cents for the hat and I put it on for $7.77 after a few months of it not selling. So that's what it went for. And the person paid $9.85 to ship it. Now it's a very light box, but I had to Franken 
box it. I don't know what we're calling that, but when I put two boxes together to make a box, it is 15.8 ounces. So I can ship this first class mail, which is amazing for the size. She paid for priority mail, so I will have to ship it priority mail, but I could have gotten away with shipping this first class mail had I boxed it up and actually charged her first class. So priority mail going to Texas, one pound, since you round up, costs $6.98. So Joanna paid $9.85, and the actual cost with my discount is about $7. So I made a few dollars there. Again, I never feel bad. Sometimes I lose a bit, sometimes I gain a bit. And boxes are expensive. I purchased these boxes with my eBay money eBay gives you money when you have a store and you can buy boxes and shipping tape, etc. So I'm going to go back to my Dymo, print the label, and this box is good to go. Next up is a lot of Dorothy Wizard of Oz napkins. This is the second lot I've sold this week. I purchased these for 50 cents a piece, so they would have cost $3 for this lot and I sold them to Tracy in North Carolina for $12. So I'm gonna put them in a first class poly mailer and Tracy paid $3 for shipping. These weigh 11.6 ounces, so round up to 12. And for 12 ounces to North Carolina, it costs $3.82. So this one I lost 82 cents, but the last one I made a few dollars, so it evens out. We're going to move on while my Dymo thinks about printing that label. And I just sold, while I was on camera, a pair of Ralph Lauren Polo Vintage Breakaway Pants. I can't tell you how much I paid for these. I'd have to look it up, but I'm going to guess four to five dollars maybe. And I made 1965. They paid 1965 for them plus seven dollars shipping. These are going to fit in a flat rate padded mailer, which is six dollars and ninety cents. So I made ten dollars, not ten dollars. I made ten cents on shipping. This is Vincent in California's first purchase on eBay, so I hope he enjoys his pants. I have a few more packages to do tonight, but I am running out of sunlight and battery. So I think you get the idea. Feel free to ask any questions down below and I'll be glad to help. Also, I give shipping tips and some other tips over on Instagram, and you're always welcome to DM me there or email directly. Thanks so much. Bye.